All right, hope everybody's doing good today. Just want to do a quick review on a 2022 Ford F-250, 7.3 liter Godzilla. This is a 15,000 mile review. So far, I've had no trouble with it. Uh, sometimes the engine idles a little high. When I say a little high, when it's first warming up, and I know this is kind of normal, but it seems like this one does it a little bit more aggressive. It'll bump up to a thousand RPMs for a little bit, even after like three, four, or five minutes, it'll still be there. But that's kind of normal. But anyhow, so tires are still in good shape, fifteen thousand miles. Uh, really like the truck. It's a nice body style. I have the spray in bed liner. This is the XLT model. I have a leather interior that I had put on there. I've got this toolbox uh, tonneau cover. Got the side rails. I really like uh, this part down here that says Super Duty. Really like that. Got the tow mirrors. Like I said, the cat skin leather. It's holding up really nice. Had that put on console cover put this on but the truck's really holding up it's really really well still looks new husky floor liners really like them sorry for the mess i'm working like i said i have the 7.3 liter godzilla engine very very happy with that i put led lights in i put uh these decals inside here, these vinyl decals, really make it pop a little. Got my American flag on the front. We'll pop open the hood, take a quick look. Usually put a towel on my seat because I sweat like a stuffed pig here in the south. Let's see if I can get this open. But there she is, nice and clean. Keep the oil change, put a synthetic mobile one in. Like I said, it's a 7.3 liter Godzilla. I'm averaging around 14, 14 and a half, 15 miles per gallon. I've always had F-150s. I bought an F-250 because uh, we bought a bigger trailer and plan on getting a fifth wheel. We have a big 8,000-pound 8, 8, travel trailer. Uh, that we pull with it. It pulls it no problem whatsoever. Got the FX4 package because I it just came with it when I bought it. But I like having a couple of skid plates up underneath there. Uh, let me show you this tonneau cover. This is something I added, of course. I've got a review on it, but it just rolls out. And this is the six feet, nine inch bed, I believe. It's that easy. It's access bed cover, but you just come like this. It just attach that Velcro, then it's nice and tight and you have to go to the other side and do it, unfortunately, but it's not bad. Just make sure it sticks. It's that easy. Nice Husky toolbox. Got the sliding rear window, tinted windows. I replaced this antenna, got it off Amazon, works really well. Put my American flag on here. Like I said, I have the trailer towing mirrors. Really like the truck. Uh, problems with it. Well, I haven't had any, but I don't like the way it rides a little rough compared to, I've always had F-150s. I have had a couple of uh, 2500 Chevrolets and I had a, a Ram 2500. Over the years, I do love this keypad here for locking and unlocking. You don't have to have your keys. Just punch in the magic code. Really like that. Uh, it's got a huge back seat, a lot of storage back there. I really, really like that aspect of it. 
Now, what I don't like about it is it rides really rough. Be expected of something that has a, uh, that can carry 3,200 pounds in the bed. So, you know, that is what it is. Would I buy it again? I would buy the Ford again. I would not get the Godzilla engine. I would get the diesel engine. Uh, it's okay. The engine's okay. I mean, it pulls the trailer no problem. I, I mean, the, the 3.5 uh, Eco Diesel is a very powerful engine. I love that turbo, the way it makes power so down, so low. It just pulls really, really nice. And I realized the F-150 is a lighter truck. So, But it, to be honest, I thought the 3.5 pulls better than this Godzilla. I, uh, I don't know if you could take and put it in this engine, in, in this body, and it would last as long as a, a natural v uh, v8 maybe this engine will just last forever because it's so gigantic and it could put out a lot more power than what it does but they from what i understand they you know they tune it to last a long time longevity which is what you want it tows fine but it will kick up i just like that turbocharged engine that thing that 3.5 eco boost is very very nice of course f-150 is a uh, a different vehicle you know it's uh, much it's a lightweight truck it doesn't have near i think uh, my bed capacity was 1250 pounds this one's like almost 3200 so that's a huge difference and uh maybe it'd tow a whole lot but you couldn't put a lot of hitch weight on it you know so anyhow f-250 a great truck so far very happy with it like i said the godzilla engine eh you know, I, diesel gets a little bit better gas mileage. If I had it do all over, I would have got the diesel. It was, this truck was exactly on the lot like I wanted it. There, I, I, I mean, literally every option. Uh, so I got it the way it is. I didn't want too many options, and I wanted enough for it to be fun still. So it's got four-wheel drive. Uh, you know, it's a nice truck. Rides great on the interstate, but you know, the diesels got better resale value, uh, probably will last longer, who knows? We'll see, uh, you know, you, you can get into some big ex expenses repairing diesel engines, but as far, you know, it's got tons of room inside it. The F-250 is really nice for that, that's all things. But my perspective of, would I get the Godzilla engine again? No, I would not, I would get the diesel. Uh, matter of fact, I'm already kind of looking to looking at the 2023s, uh, but you, they're just not available on the lot that much, and they're just kind of expensive. They won't come down. This has blind spot monitors on it, which are very nice. I put this tailgate step on by Amp Research. Very nice. So the truck's ready to go. I really, really like it. And even with the Godzilla, I mean, I'm not complaining. I really, really like it. I just, uh, uh, the lightness of the F-150, it's just a, a different beast of, uh, does a different job. It's lightweight. This is a heavy duty truck. And I totally understand that. Uh, but I'm just telling you the differences. If you go from an F-150 to a 250, it's a more of a rough ride. And, uh, it's just not going to handle as well. And that's just the nature of the beast. Uh, I can throw a house in the back of this. And you can't do that on the F-150. So anyhow, no problem so far. 15,000 miles. Very pleased with the durability of the truck. Please like and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.